Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from Higher Ground in Buford. We have a great show lined up for you today, so stay tuned for more North of the Broad. Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from Higher Ground in Buford. I'm joined this afternoon by a representative from Fresh Start Healing Heart. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. We're going to talk about something that people here in Buford or the Low Country may not be aware about, but that's human trafficking. Yes, ma'am. Um, so if people are not aware of what human trafficking is, if we have viewers out there have never heard that term before, would you just share with, um, with the viewers what that is, what that entails? Mm -hmm. Uh, human trafficking is when someone has been forced, coerced, or frauded into either um, the sex industry of any kind or even into any type of labor from domestic labor or domestic servanthood to um, working in the agricultural department. And mm -hmm. um, if they're doing any form of commercial sex under the age of 18, that is also human trafficking. Wow. What's the prevalence of this here um, in Buford County or in the Low Country? Any statistics? Um, it's very hard to do statistics in the area just because South Carolina has recently started keeping more stats. Um, but I can tell you in uh, the Low Country here alone, we have already served a few clients and we are currently serving clients from the Low Country area. Wow. Um, and who is Fresh Start Healing Heart? Great name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, we're an anti-human trafficking organization, a nonprofit in the local area, and what we do is we serve survivors and help to connect them with restorative services while providing safe shelter for them. Well, so obviously you have a gamut of services that you offer to, yes. these, to these victims um, who obviously are suffering from a number of psychological, emotional, yes. possibly um, physical um, mm -hmm. wounds that they, that they need, need to heal. Um, you, you, one of the questions we have here is about the um, Low Country Human Trafficking Task Force. Talk to us about that, share information about what that task force does and if someone's interested in helping, um, if there's the ability to join. Um, the Low Country Human Trafficking Task Force is the task force that serves the Low Country area that helps to bring together all entities that would have anything to do with um, human trafficking. It could be service providers, it can be citizens who are very uh, concerned uh, law enforcement, uh, hospitals, DSS, mm -hmm. even into um, your um, volunteers in medicine. Just anybody that feels they may be coming in contact with human trafficking and they are welcome to join and we keep each other trained, educated, and at the same time um, up on any tips or things happening in the local area. Mm -hmm. So definitely a matrix of different organizations, mm -hmm. people from different fields and specialties that would be yes. able to identify possibly somebody who's suffering or is held in one of these um, sort of situations that you've um, described and yes. um, be able to hopefully um, seek out the right person or people to help them. Yes. I see. So obviously, as they say, um, it takes a village, right? Yes. Yes. And we have our next meeting coming up on January 25th. Okay. And where is that meeting going to be held? We don't give out the location okay. except to those who RSVP and they can RSVP to freshstarthealingheart.org or at healingheartstart at gmail.com. Excellent. Obviously we want to protect those people who are doing such good work. Mm -hmm. um, is there a difference between the Lowcountry um, Human uh, Trafficking Task Force and the Savannah Traffic Jam? Just tell me a little bit about that. The Savannah Traffic Jam is actually um, a, a conference that's coming up here on the 28th and it's open to the public. Uh, it is free and uh, they will have um, a spectrum of uh, speakers coming in to help educate the public and the community and uh, we generally have one here in the low country but this year it was um, not available so I am letting people know about the Savannah traffic jam mm -hmm. and uh, to, to go ahead and go on uh, you can even just google Savannah traffic jam and it'll come up on Everbright and you can get your tickets and if they're law enforcement or anyone who needs CEUs they are available at this training also. Excellent great to know. How can the community take part in this fight to help stop mm -hmm. human trafficking? Many, many ways. Um, one, to be educated. You can go to freshstarthealingheart.org and become more educated on what to look for. Uh, speak to your children about it. They're not too young. The average age is 12. Um, and many of those who become trafficked, either labor or commercial sex, it's from a history of being sexually abused from the start, so at a very young age. Um, they can be praying for us, I always believe in that. The other is they can do donations for us. Um, we are in serious need of a house to help cut some of the costs, and uh, since we're using 
um, host families currently, um, but to bring them all together and allow the services to be under one roof would be better. Great. Um, and what does Fresh Start Healing Heart need most to help survivors? What would be the thing that would um, really help your organization and help the survivors out there? Monthly donors. Okay. People to donate. Any, any size. Monthly donors. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you so much for the work that you're doing in the community. Obviously committed um, and passionate about the cause mm -hmm. to help survivors here. Yes. So thank you so much for being a guest on North of the Broad, sharing the work that you do here in the community. And hopefully there'll be some people out there that see this um, and step up and, and make some donations to help your organization. Thank you for thank having you us so on. Much. You're thank welcome. You. And we'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.